Have you ever read the book by Douglas Adams, uh, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe? It's part of the series of Hitch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And this is a restaurant sitting at the end of the universe and it literally watches the universe implode, or Earth explode or whatever. But this cow walks up and says, hi, I'm your dinner for tonight. Which part of me would you like? Is that what you imagine the restaurant to be? I've got no idea what 100 years from now dining is going to be like. I mean, I can't even imagine what dining is going to be like in two months from now. You go first. Uh, is it about time that chef should come out and also like be a role model and influence others people as well? Because they have been doing things behind the scene, connect a lot of things together. There's a certain voice that we've been given now, and I think if we use that voice correctly for the right things, then it's going to be beneficial for society. For society, but chefs as celebrities, I think, is a bit of a loaded <coughs> ship. I don't think it's necessary to make us a, or turn us into a celebrity in order for us to get our message out there. We're part of a group of people that have similar, let's say, passions and ideas, and I think that's important to share in order to progress. I think the industrialization of our food systems mm -hmm. is what really grinds me. And I think that encompasses all the things that we stand for anyway, in, in terms of our environmental stance, our zero waste, our packaging, packaging policies, <laughs> everything stems from that industrialization of the food industry. I think initially it was more about the produce, like I want to get organic, or we want to get organic produce. And from there, our sort of view of sustainability just kept getting broader and broader and today I think it's still broadening. I feel like to this day it's, uh, it's easier to do it in the commercial kitchen, like in the restaurant, rather than in home kitchen. A, a home kitchen. Restaurants by their very nature have to control their food waste because that's profit you're throwing in a bin. You get When you go through your career you get yelled at and screamed at and taunted for make, for wasting food. Well, I think with with all the tele shows, all the Netflix shows, I think chefs have enough influence to make people want to cook at home, choose better choice for their kids, and like the school have a better choice for their students as well. Mm. I mean, but for every chef that advocates the good, there's also a chef that advocates the bad, so to speak. So it, they're they're the messages are conflicted in the media anyway and it's difficult for people to to mm. cipher through that and get the what what's truly important there's a lot of talking like mm. everywhere but i don't feel like there's enough of walk the talk like people doesn't practice it in everyday life like chef or not chef mm. and like a lot of I think they talk too much these days. There's yeah. a lot of greenwashing going on, I think. Mm. Yeah. So we not like I'm not quite sure what the direction gonna be because of the greenwashing, because of the marketing behind the organics, like and make the perception of the people like this is this but it's not. So yeah, it's really illusional. If you're looking at like all the all the marketing campaigns, let go support the farmers. So Farmer doesn't need your support. They're supporting you, not you supporting them. Things like like the the whole perception is like, oh, we as a consumer do you a favor? No, like the <laughs> the producer do us a favor, and I think that is the big thing, the misperception of consumer in Thailand. Bangkok restaurant scene is super supportive of each other, which is great. Uh, not everyone has the same level of commitment to all the issues that get brought up all the time. But when you go and ask people for help or assistance in joining to like push the message out there or something, then people get behind it and will help you. So I think it's really, it's great like that, yeah. But I think it is sort of really important if you have the government that uh, have their mind open and listen to like people from different pers perspective or different background. Like, I love to jump in and do the school lunch program for Thailand. But that's almost impossible. Like, I probably can do it in a private school, mm -hmm. but not governmental school. And like, you know, the, the milk program for the kid. You know, Thai, Thai people, we have 
lactose intolerance. But then they give milk as a snack for the Thai kids. Like what the? <laughs> Why can't you give them something else? <laughs> things like a lot of things like this happen in Thailand that I like to have my hand into it or like the chef around over should take care of your school lunch program back home or whatever. But yeah, me me personally, Thailand I can't. Well, I think if there's anything we've learned in the immediate uh situation what's happening in the world right now is that chefs are not necessary restaurants are not necessary for society to function and in the future if a restaurant's going to be a valid part of society then it needs to be a part of society it needs to actually benefit society in order for that restaurant to be valid and for that restaurant to warrant people wanting to go there because people in the future i believe are going to be a little bit more choosy about where they spend their money and what they choose to eat when they're outside. I don't think it's going to be as flippant as it was in the last sort of five years of restaurant culture. That role of the chef into putting good food into more people's homes, I think is definitely a valid and useful thing for chefs to be doing. Yeah. I think if you trust the chef, <laughs> the impact that we can do is like we can lead you to like a choice of food understand the seasons, the sorts of produces available via us as well. No, chefs cannot save the world. Chefs can definitely add some weight behind a movement to help people in the right direction towards saving the world, but chefs by themselves cannot save the world. So together we can? Well, obviously everyone combined can. Lots of chefs together might help a bit more. But you need other professions. Yeah. You look at our food system, it relies on the transport system, it relies on like so many aspects, everything's interlinked. So until we really fix those links to make it more sustainable, then the world's yeah. fucked. Okay. Can chefs save the world? Oh, I totally agree with you. First time ever. <laughs>